I'm Rachel Lewis. I'm a teaching fellow in the sociology department here at Warwick. I'm Jackie Hodgson. I'm a professor in the School of Law here at Warwick um, and I'm co-director of COPPA, which is the Centre for Operational Police Research. I kind of came to this by a slightly unusual route as a researcher um, in that at the time I was a Deputy Pro Vice-Chancellor for Research and I was responsible for the research portfolio around City of Culture. And our research looks at West Midlands Police's partnership with the City of Culture. Um, so a combination of that and my role as a co-director of COPPA meant I was really well placed um, to do the evaluation of that partnership. So that's how that started. I started to work with Rachel and then the project just developed from there. I had been with my research really interested in kind of ideas around community building and solidarity and friction between different groups and ideas around kind of unity across difference. And I had focused principally on the national community in my research before this. But then the idea of working in a project looking at police and over-policed communities in particular and those quite hostile relationships between the two and thinking through how we might engage with those hostile relationships and whether there's possibilities for positive change. The police were really interested to see if through City of Culture their arts-led engagement with at-risk communities, whether or not that could increase public trust and confidence in policing and ultimately our perceptions of the legitimacy of the police. And what became very interesting for us, I think, through that was not just could those kind of arts-based interventions help in terms of public confidence in policing, but also could it actually help in terms of challenging and ultimately potentially changing police practice? Could those arts-based endeavours actually do something that would allow the police to understand their practice in a slightly different way and potentially then lead to some sort of positive change in how they enact the function of the police? We began by looking at police attempts to engage with communities who they normally have quite hostile relationships with um, and to do that through arts-led initiatives. And for example, one of the projects was a big mural on the side of Coventry Police Station and they worked with people with lived experience of homelessness to plan that whole project. And in some ways the output wasn't the important thing. The important thing was that they were all sitting in a room together and talking just person to person. We've just grown this body of work. We've got very interested in this whole arts and culture and policing. And so that then led to us commissioning a play that would take up some of the themes of our research. When you use a sort of arts-based intervention and you bring police into that type of space, is that they're engaging through emotion with other people and other people are engaging with the police in a slightly different way also. And the interesting thing for us is what's the potential of that in terms of actually really having police officers reflect on their own practice and understand the impact of their practice on other people. One of the partnerships that we evaluated a year or so ago was uh, between West Midlands Police and this time with Ernst & Young's outreach programme where they worked with a secondary school in Birmingham with a small group of young people who the school felt were at risk of exclusion. And um, they spent several weeks together, young people, a few police officers and some creative practitioners uh, discussing issues around violence within their communities and what that meant to them and how they engaged with, with ideas around that and safety. And ultimately those young people put together a film, a short film, which was shown at the end at Millennium Point on this huge screen to an invited audience, including the mayor and various dignitaries and a lot of police officers. And it, it felt like quite an important opportunity for those young people to speak to police, to talk through their experiences of safety and lack of safety in their communities and what that meant to them and how they experienced it. And for police to hear that in a really different way from how they have normally heard it and to see that visualized on a large screen. And for those young people, it was really quite powerful. I think in terms of why it matters, the kinds of things we were talking about around public trust and confidence and police legitimacy, all of which are at an all time low. And so I think anything that brings communities a bit closer together, that opens up space for dialogue, that's a good thing. 